Hello, all. this is Narag, your friendly cleric. Just giving you a Gina tutorial walkthrough on how to install it. The first thing that you'll do is go to your web browser. You are going to search in your web browser for EQ Gina and hit enter. It'll bring up a nice list of pages as long as your internet works. And um, you're going to see the first link there it says Gina download. You're going to click the Gina download. You're going to click the Gina download again. And I'm assuming you're running something other than Windows XP. Um, I'm running Windows 10. So there we have it. Okay, you're going to click the blue arrow in, in a Firefox, hit Setup. Once you click the Setup, it's going to say Windows protected your PC. Now there's a little more info button right here. You can click that and it's going to say it doesn't know who this publisher is because this is basically a game player making a game part for us. Hit Run anyway. I promise you it's safe. You're going to get a little menu like this and it's going to say in Gina, Install Gina from Gimasoft and then hit Install and you'll see a very quick uh, display on how to install it. It's going to ask you this again. So you hit more info and hit run anyway. And then this is going to open up Gina. This is what you're first going to stare at the very first time. Okay, so once you've got your Gina up and running, you're going to actually load an EQ. And of course you can see I loaded up EQ. I'm running a minimized window just to show you. Uh, first thing that you're going to do is go into EQ and type slash log on. And notice over here it's going to say log into eqlog.txt is now on. What that's going to do is it's going to create a log file for every little piece of chat information you have in EverQuest. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually see where that log file is being created. So if we just drag over my EverQuest file, this is my EverQuest launching button. This is how I actually start to play the game. Um, if I right click that thing and then I hit see where it is open file location there it is right there top second button this is going to open up the next window this is going to tell me my local disk C users public day gate daybreak game company install games every quest this is where the launcher file is but it's not where my log file is so we're going to roll up here to the logs we open it up and as you can see I got a couple characters but this is my narog log this is a log file that I'm going to be navigating to, okay? This path right here, if you click this button, it's going to allow you to copy it. You can hit Control and C on your keyboard to copy that path. Now that we know exactly where our log file is, we're going to minimize that little window. We're going to go back into Gina. Gina is going to say, hey, we need to add a character. So we're going to hit the Add button, okay? It's going to say, where's your log file at? We're going to click the little dot, dot, dot button, and it doesn't know where it's at. But what we can do is we can navigate to it. All right. Now we noticed that it was users, public, daybreak game company, installed games, EverQuest, and logs. So we go to there and we click the button and we click the Narag one because that's me. Now it's just going to head start up. Hit save. Look, my guy's there. Now the very important part about this is it's going to start up as a play. If you don't want that character to actually log text, you can actually hit the stop button. Now I'm going to show you some little intricacies about. Um, Gina and EQ. Gina is an overlay program. It's going to read your log file. And then what it's going to do is it's going to actually display stuff over top of your screen. So if you click on the overlay button and you hit the default button right here, you're going to see this default button. All right. And on your EQ screen, if I bring it up, this is where it's all going to put the stuff. Now my screen is kind of squished, but you can actually drag that up to wherever you want that. And then you're going to hit save and it's going to remember that location. Okay. Then you go back to Gina, and then you hit your timer overlay. Now my timer overlay wasn't where I wanted it, so I'm going to drag it back over to here, and I want everything all up in the upper right-hand corner. I don't know why, but it just, or left-hand corner, it makes more sense to me. All right, now this is going to be where it's going to tell me spam text. It's going to say things to me, so I'm going to put it right here in the middle so I can see it. All right, and that's how you set up your stuff. Now the only other thing we have to do is have someone share a trigger. Now, triggers can be created by yourself, or they can be created by other players. It starts out with a common set, okay? And there's nothing in it. It's completely blank. But if you go over here to sharing, and you hit import button, you can actually download the ones that we linked on the website, or you can go to share, and you can, and someone can send them to you. But we're going to hit import from Gina package file right now, and these are the ones I just backed up just a minute ago so I could do this tutorial. All right, so we're going to load it up. It's going to say, do I want to automatically merge the packages for me? I'm going to hit merge. 
Now, every one of these is on it right now. Now, I'm a cleric. Under class, it's going to have all these ones on. If I double click this, it's going to give me check mark boxes for what classes I want to see. Now, I'm a cleric, so I only want to see cleric stuff. I want to see all the common stuff. I want to see all the missions, and I want to see all the raids. And that is exactly how you set up your triggers. That is all there is to it. The only thing you still have to do is minimize it, maximize your EQ screen, and go to playing.